For thousands of Encore Energy customers, they're hoping they don't have a repeat of this weekend having no power. The company says heat and record demand is to blame and says the crews worked all weekend long to restore service. Take a look at their current outage map. Encore serves a big chunk of Texas, including parts of Travis and Williamson counties. And there are still some outages going on right now. But as KXAN's Tahra Rahman reports, some customers are still worried there could be more of these in their future since the summer is just beginning to ramp up. Texas. You can get some idea of just how much R.J. Barber loves Texas just by walking up to his home. Well, this is my Texas yard art. It's hard to tell he only just moved here about two years ago. Adopted son of Texas. But there is something that worries him. In the last couple days, some of his Round Rock neighbors experienced power outages. It's very concerning, not just for the power, but what we're going to lose in this economic times. He was spared, but says an outage in yeah. this heat might also mean throwing out groceries. Not devastating, but it would be hard to lose financially. Encore says at one point this weekend, they had about 2,000 outages across their service area, which includes here in Williamson County, as well as Travis County. The energy company tells us some equipment couldn't handle the combination of record setting hot weather and record usage, resulting in increased outages. We asked what they're doing to prevent future blackouts as we face more triple digit days this week. They said they work to prepare for summer with year long planning and preparation, including inspecting thousands of electrical facilities on the ground or by air using drones to identify and replace vulnerable equipment before outages happen. When we lost power during the winter, you know, Texas is not ready for that. Now in the summer, they know it's coming. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. Encore says some outages this weekend were not related to the heat. They pointed to the unrelated external factors, such as car accidents or wildlife. Thousands of others in Central Texas may have also experienced power outages. Pernalis Electric Cooperative saying, 4,000 of their customers were in the dark for 30 minutes due to line maintenance. Georgetown Utilities saying their outage was due to a contractor who struck a primary underground power line. The state already surpassed its record peak demand yesterday. This is according to Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT, the state's grid operator. The demand for electricity is not expected to cool down anytime soon. Besides the current hot temperature trend, ERCOT has said it expects to set new demand records as the population continues to grow. 